Greetings all. So the Devious Monkey here. It is Sunday night, five to eight. I just finished dinner and my laundry, and I have not even touched the footage from the other day, but I found an interesting little tidbit. Yesterday's video that I ended up posting was really just a throwaway video. I even said that, that you know I just didn't have time to do anything else, so I just filmed a little bit and I posted it, and it got more views than a lot of the videos that I actually put time into, which leads me to believe that I don't know what the hell I'm doing. That being said, I did get feedback on how this all looked and you know, it was a great setup and all that kind of stuff. Oddly enough, again, I had this sitting on a bar stool. This time, instead of having a 16 to 35 on, I have the 35 1.4 G Master on it and I have it moved four or five feet away from me. And again, it's just sitting on a bar stool. I'm sitting at my desk in my office. I left the door open, so I'm sure my wife is like, what the hell is he doing? And you can see the pink from the LEDs on my stairway. So that being said, I just wanted to throw up something else and try some of those suggestions. So again, I have this 35, G Master on and I have it set to f1.4 and it's obviously at 150th and it's at jumping between ISO 800 and 1000 depending on how close I get to the camera. I can see that the eye autofocus is on my eyeball so my face should be in focus and everything else should be a little bit more blown out and it's probably at least I'm at least halfway to the door so I'm situated halfway between the camera and the door and you know I can't really see on that tiny ass screen what it looks like but I guess we'll find out together. The other thing that I did on last night's video was because it was boring I thought I just took the footage because I didn't turn on any studio lights because I disconnected them all and everything is just now sitting in an organized pile whereas last night it was all just laying on the floor and I wasn't going to deal with it. Tonight same thing. It's just my office lights. So the, the literally I have this room sort of split in half where I have the studio set up with all the apertures in the LED panel. And then I have all my hue normal lights and all these lamps all around here so that it's bright enough that I can see what the hell I'm doing when I'm doing office work. That's all that's on right now. There isn't a single like aperture on because again, all six of them are laying there on, on the little cats thing and they're disconnected and I'm not using them and I'm not using the LED panel just to see what this looks like. So again, I, I got a lot of feedback on how great the look the look looked and the, the look was that I didn't do shit. All I did was film with what light I had on for the office. But when I put it into Final Cut Pro, I went into the effects panel and I went down to literally looks and I just started clicking on them and seeing which one looked the most appealing to me and I found one called combat and I thought that looked the best so it sort of washed most of the color out today I'm not going to put any looks on I'm just shooting with the 35 at 1.4 and with myself situated halfway in between to see what it does I mean I can see that you know my screensaver on on the monitor there is going all over the place the pink from the lights is behind me and then I have normal hue lights on and they're all roughly at the same temperature. So that's what we got going. I've got auto white balance on. I haven't done anything with taking a custom white balance. I usually never do. And I have the camera set up to picture profile 11, which is S Cinetone with no changes. And you know, the monkey don't do any grading. So that's not gonna be any different either. This is what you get straight out of the camera. So thus endeth my experiment for tonight. I just wanted to try this again and see what it looks like and get your feedback on what you think. Well, now that I'm using 35G Master at f1.4 rather than on the 16 to 35, where I'm not even sure I had it on 2.8. It might've been at f4 or f5. And I do not have any filter on this whatsoever. On the 16 to 35, I have that Freewell variable ND system 
and I always have the mist based on. So everything that you see is through that mist base, which is going to soften everything. This does not have anything on it, well, other than a clear UV filter, but that's a given. So there's absolutely no mist on here. Everything is as sharp as it's supposed to be. There's no, you know, misting. And I definitely don't have a variable ND filter on. And sometimes I forget to take the ND filter off of the 16 to 35. And that's when my ISO goes up to like 4 million and everything looks ghosty and, and dirty. So that's not the case now. Okay, enough blathering. This is what you get. And I'd like to know what you think of it. Um, this is what it's going to be like going forward, especially when I unveil my new surprise setup. No more air quotes, promise. The new setup, when that comes in, this is what it's going to be. Um, <clears throat> not necessarily me sitting here, but it's going to be like this, where I'm going to set the camera up in, in various places around my house or outside or wherever the hell I do it. And this is what you're going to get so that it's different. And I'm not always sitting by the bookshelves, which I have put back together, but taken everything off as far as the lighting and all that kind of stuff. So, okay, that's enough blathering. That's all you get. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.